So we'll be talking a lot about diet and some physical components that will then impact your inflammatory signal. But something that we tend to forget is actually the one that is sending a lot of these inflammatory signal is actually the brain. And that is directly connected to how we feel. If we're dealing with any kind of trauma, or we're dealing with fears, we're dealing with guilt, we're dealing with anger, all these different emotions actually impact your inflammatory conditions. And what they've seen is that you have the brain map, and within the brain map, you have certain areas that relate then to all these different organs throughout your whole body. So let's say, for instance, the kidneys. You have a certain area of the brain that is then directly connected to the kidney. And what they've seen is that certain emotions affect certain areas of the brain. So let's say fear, for instance, it will then impact a certain area of the brain. And that same area is the one that then controls then the kidneys. So if you're holding on to that emotion, that stimulation from the brain, that nerve stimulation to the kidneys will then be reduced, which means that the circulation within the kidney will then also be reduced. That means then that there's a buildup then of toxic waste because it's not flushing out as well as it should. And also, there's not as much transportation of nutrients that will then support and repair than the kidneys. So in order to be able to, to really address inflammatory signals, you also want to take a look and see what kind of emotions may be behind it. Let's say liver, if you're dealing with a lot of anger, it tends to be stored in the liver because it is connected to the different, the specific uh, spot in the brain map that then uh, uh, sends the signals then to the liver and supports the circulation, supports the detoxification of the liver and also supports and the nutritional transport then to the liver to make sure that it's healthy. So what we offer in our clinic is that there's a technique called applied psychoneurobiology where we actually can pinpoint and see what kind of emotion is behind this stress factor. So let's say you have a, a pain in the knee and maybe it is because that the kidneys aren't really moving out the uric acids as, as quickly as it should and you find then out that, you know, well, the kidneys, there's, there's some kind of fear that you're dealing with and it may have started when you were uh, eight years old for some, maybe you, you're afraid going to school because there were some bullies there that were, you know, uh, that you're afraid of and you've been holding on to that fear and that's been impacting the kidneys and because of that you're not filtering out the uric acids as quickly and then you have then pain in your knee. So there's, there's a, a direct cause that then can lead to then fiscal symptoms and uh, if you're dealing with chronic issues I would very much look into some of the emotional factors that then can impact inflammation.